So I'm with Maya. I'm Maya and mom's behind the camera today. Hi guys. And so today, because it is the last Wednesday of the month, we show uh, a tea that we either really like or one that we like to try. And so today we have one that I want to try. Um, and so we found this tea when we went to the Raleigh Farmer's Market in Raleigh, North Carolina. Um, and while we were buying um, our produce um, and herbs and fruit, is fruit produce? <laughs> Go. <laughs> we went up the hill to, what is the store called? Bo's Place. We went up the hill to Bo's Place and he sells candy, old fashioned sodas and herbs and I think I think one other thing like baked goods some sometimes they're on the register sometimes they're not I don't know if they're actually a part of the store or yeah, but we got herbs um, and we also got tea um, spices and herbs sorry okay so we got chamomile rose petal and spearmint and this rubus rubus tea <laughs> um look at the price Ooh. I actually did not notice that until you said that. Um, These were a bit... This is $6.39 for each one. No, that was just the chamomile tea. Wait, what? Oh, this is $4.89. And $4 this is the rose petals. So. $4.89. And this is the spearmint. And this is $5.49. So, I wanted to see the rose petals. And we also got that from there. Their tea filters. I wanted to see, I've never had rose petal tea. I've never seen what it looked like. I've only seen it on Instagram or um, on videos. I've never actually tried it. So I wanted to try that and it's rose petal tea. So this thing says you need boiling hot water, which we have here, one tablespoon of petals and we steep for five minutes. Oh, they're so red. This is one tablespoon. Ooh. One tablespoon. Oh, wait, I forgot. So, first you get your sachet. You get slowly so you don't knock it all on the floor like me. It looks so pretty. And then this. Ooh, it smells really good too. So basically, you want enough so that you can fold it down, and then I like to bundle it and drop. And then you put the top back on. It's very aromatic. Mm -hmm. And then you pour your hot water, and it said it doesn't have a measurement, so we're just going to pour it until the store. And we let it steep for five minutes. Okay guys, so this is the color, which is like most tea colors. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know why I expected it to turn like a yeah, rich me too. dark color. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so I'm going to taste it. I've never tasted this before. It's a bit hot. You can smell it more than you can taste it. It smells like if you went outside and you were just sitting outside in the sunshine and you smelled like a lingering burst of rose, but it doesn't actually taste like anything. Good thing you're drinking it without sugar then. I don't know. I don't know what it's supposed to taste like. Maybe in the comments one of you can tell me, but it is a refreshing taste, but it doesn't, I can't pinpoint the taste, okay? I don't, I don't know what it's supposed to taste like. I'm gonna look it up, but it's fresh. Um, it smells like flour and your nose is connected to your taste. So I guess it tastes like flour. <laughs> um, but if you're in the other, oh, I have the taste. It's okay, okay. It tastes kind of like honey. It tastes kind of like honey. Okay. If you're in the area, I hope you check out the Raleigh Farmer's Market um, and uh, Bo's Place. Um, the teas are pretty good. Um, 
I just, I've never had roast tea before. So I hope you guys like, share, subscribe, and I hope you check out our other tea videos and stay tuned every third, every third week for our mocktail videos and every fourth week for our let me go try another tea video. And then the first two weeks are just me trying out regular tea. So I hope you guys check them out and bye guys.